hi in this video we will see default constructor in java so in our previous video we have seen what is constructor so in detail in theory so from this video we will see uh, using some examples so default constructor so we already discussed if you do not implement any constructor in your class then java compiler inserts a default constructor you would not find it in your source code as it would be inserted into the code during compilation and exists in compilation file and the same way the default constructor is used to provide the default values to the objects like zero null etc depending on the type okay this point also we will see if you do not have initialized anything constructor will initialize default values so let me go to visual studio code so i have created default constructor class so inside this um, what i'll do int a is equals to 10 okay and string s is equals to i'll say constructor okay something like this so now if i want to print this okay so these are outside of class okay instance variables so now if i want to access this okay i cannot directly access right these are not static inside the static i cannot access this one so if i say system dot out oh dot print ln okay so if i print a in the same way if i print the yes so if i try to do this what happens we'll see default constructor dot java so non static variable s cannot be referenced from a static context that is fine so for that you need to create an object for this okay so let me create an object default constructor dc is equals to new default constructor okay so this is called constructor okay but i did not written any constructor inside my class but dc dot a if i try to access these things dc sorry dc dot a and dc dot s okay that simple i created one object and this is called constructor default constructor so i i did not create any constructor explicitly so because of the it will create its own means default constructor when you compile and with the help of dc i am able to access this okay so let me execute this you see that 10 and constructor okay this is how you can use but if you did not mention anything here so i did not mention anything in the string s that's it okay now what happens normally if you have if you assign some values obviously it will print those values but i did not i did not assign any values i did not initialize it so what values it will print okay we will try to execute and see you see that zero and null so where it is coming from the zero and null all these things okay because of default constructor okay we already discussed in the ppt that the default constructor is used to provide the default values to the object like zero null depending on the type okay so depending on the type means if it is integer we have seen in the data types like we have some default values okay default values so it will print if i say double d so what could be the default value for the double so what is that so we'll try to execute and see you see that 0.0 as it is double default value is 0.0 so that is one of the usage or advantage when you use default constructor but you will not explicitly write default constructor here 
okay this is all about default constructor so what could be the possible interview questions from here obviously they might ask what is constructor how many types of constructors are there can you tell me about the default constructor and what is the use of that okay so that's all in this video thank you